What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri A. Today, heading to the St. Louis area. Gonna be picking up a new piece of equipment. What's it gonna be? Stay tuned, stick around, and uh, you'll find out. All right, guys, we're getting really, really close to uh, arriving at our destination. So, let's see. Uh, Let's see the name of the business we're gonna be showing up at here in a minute. You guys ready for this? St. Louis traffic. Not too bad, man. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Not rush hour, so it's not too bad, but we're getting close. I think that may be it on top of the hill up there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but we're getting really close right up there. That's where we're going. All right, here we go. I think we're here. Looks like we got a lot of John Deere out here. That's for sure. Kid loaders, mowers, all kinds of stuff, man. Let's check this out. What's the name of this place, anyways? There it is, right there. Herb Equipment right here in the STL. That bad boy right there would be nice to have. Man, they got a lot of green, a lot of red, a whole lot of equipment sitting out here. All right, here it is. All right, here it is. Billy Goat Debris Loader. Vanguard EFI, 37 horsepower. Should be able to suck a lot of leaves with that. We'll do a lot of leaf cleanups. Went ahead and got the trailer with it. So we're ready to roll, man. Man, thankful to be out here when it's not rush hour. Traffic's not bad at all. Heading back to the house, gonna put the uh, debris loader up. And then uh, get out, get a little bit of mowing done, but. I'll shoot a quick little video when I get to the house and put the tube back on. Had to take the tube off, 14 inch hose for uh, sucking up all that debris, all those leaves. Had to take that thing off for the ride home, man, because that thing would have been flopping around everywhere. So I'm um, going to put that tube back on, and I'll show you guys how that 37 horsepower Vanguard EFI engine runs with the Piranha Blades on the Billy Goat debris loader. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping to hit some areas that I wasn't able to hit and the years passed because you know a lot of areas around here with those mature trees and they just have um, too many leaves too many trees and not really a lawn so if you can just picture a house with a bunch of trees around it not much grass at all sticks acorns gumballs pine cones whole bunch of leaves and like no grass. That's the areas that I'm gonna be targeting with this Billy Goat debris loader. I'll still get out there and mulch on those lawns that have a, uh, you know, already an established lawn and some thick grass where I can mulch those leaves up. But for the lawns that don't have any grass, you can't really mulch them up. This will be perfect for those type of lawns. And since I went ahead and spent the money to you know to pick up this billy goat 
I'm gonna go ahead and market those types of neighborhoods, those types of areas this season and try to hit those hard and just see what happens, man. Just see what happens. So a lot of times when it's too wet to mulch, I had to wait a couple days for things to dry out. That turned into waiting to a week or you know 10 days because we had so much rain i think with this billy goat you know i'll let the leaves dry out a little bit but for the most part i really don't think i'm going to have any problems you know with uh with the leaves being too wet i think the power of this thing is just going to suck them up shred them up i could be wrong i hope i'm not wrong but i really think with the power of this billy goat debris loader we're going to be able to get in there and suck up some wet leaves, dry leaves, and be able to get a whole lot of work done this winter, this fall and winter. So stay tuned. I'll be showing some videos of that, but can't wait to get it home. Still have to rig everything up. I'm gonna be putting the um, the billy goat, hooking it up to the back of the dump trailer, and then putting that chute into the back of the dump trailer sucking the leaves up with the billy goat throwing everything into the dump trailer and then when i go to unload i will have to unhook the billy goat but it's super light it weighs like 500 pounds but it's on this trailer so you can easily move it around it's i'm a small guy and it doesn't take much to move the trailer around so i don't think it'll be a problem it has a jack stand so jack that thing up and off of the dump trailer swing the dump trailer around and dump all the debris in the uh at the house you know we're gonna have an area where we dump all the leaves we're gonna have some fertilized some mulched areas and I'm gonna use that for the garden use it for the lawn just use it for fertilize in general let it break down and uh i'm super excited about it man well We'll see how it goes, but uh, super excited about it. Anyways, I'm going to head back to the house. Got about an hour and a half to go. And once I get home, I'll get some uh, video footage of the uh, Billy Goat. But look at this. Every bridge I've been passing by, they have these American flags, fire trucks with the American flag. Man, look at that. So every bridge, man, they've had fire trucks sitting there and they've had their ladders up and the American flag hanging over. I'm really surprised they're letting them do that, but it's nice to drive around and see the USA flag flying, especially in all this stuff we got going on just around the world and in the country. And I think it's good to uh, for all of us to come together here in the country and and just rally together man rally together and and just serve one another help each other out be a be a good citizen you know in your community in your area and it's awesome to see the red white and blue flying man hoping it signifies freedom for a long time for our country especially with everything going on but anyways I'm about an hour and a half out, I'm gonna head back to the house and I'll get you guys some more videos, so stick around.